Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since I posted and I kind of miss it. So since I have a super duper chill week, I decided this would be a good week for me to make my like comeback. So here we are. <laughs> um, I'm going to show you guys kind of like a night in my life and also a day in my life tomorrow because today is really free. But a day in my life tomorrow and I thought that'd be kind of fun because I do some fun things and a lot of you guys have asked about like my skincare, my shower routine, how I make my coffee, things like that. So I thought I would show you. So without further ado, let's go. So I'm currently just chilling watching you because I finally got talking to watching it. So I am. I'm on season one, episode two right now. I'm almost done with episode two. And it's kind of good. I'm excited to see where it goes because, like, I can't see how there's three seasons of this, but we'll see. Hey, everybody. I am clearly out of the shower. Clearly. And um, now I'm going to show you my skincare routine. I'm not going to do it all for you because I have a whole video on that. Even though a lot of my products have changed, it's still the same order. So I'm going to show you guys that. Then we're going to go into my shower together. Kidding. And I'm gonna show you guys what I use in there too. Um, so yeah, when I first my makeup, I start off with Garnier cleansing water and a little cotton pad, and just rub it all off. Next, I use the CeraVe cream to foam cleanser. She's very used. And um, if I feel like I need a good exfoliating, I use one of those like spinny brush things. But if not, I'll just wash it normal. The next thing I use is my Neutrogena alcohol free toner. I just worn by this for two years. It's wonderful, especially if it's not any struggles with cystic acne like I do. It just, it's amazing. So I try to use this in the morning, but if I forget, I do use it at night. But I have kept the caffeine solution from The Ordinary that I love and I struggle really, really bad with uh, dark under eyes. Right now, it's just mascara. These aren't actually how dark they are, but um, it's worked wonders for me. So if you struggle with under eye bags, I definitely suggest it. So I kind of go back and forth with moisturizers. So, I have the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid Moisturizer, but I also have the CeraVe PM Moisturizer. I use both of these, just depends on the day, you know what I mean? So, if you guys know me, you know that when I have blonde hair, I have very, very brittle hair. And so, it has been a journey to even get my hair to the length that it is, and just to like the fullness that it is because of how damaged my hair was. So, I'm going to kind of show you guys what I used for that but like I don't really know how much this helped or if just going darker helped it but I'm gonna show you anyway so I spray this in my hair right after I get out of the shower then I use this coconut milk anti-breakage serum I especially use it whenever I'm going to put heat on my hair which I think another thing that helped with the healing of my hair was not putting so much heat on it so yeah now to the shower products hey guys welcome to my shower so I used the Monday shampoo and conditioner, the smooth version. Oh my gosh. I just got out of the shower, so there's stuff all over this. I didn't even wash my hair, but these are super cute packaging too. So that's fun. I used the coconut coffee scrub and wash. Super fun. I bought like 16 bottles from this. What like four months ago? Three months ago? We're already almost out. I have one more bottle of this left in my little storage area but i love it also very clearly love this because it is almost gone and you can buy a new one and just a couple of extra things that i think you guys probably don't care about but i don't care i'm gonna tell you anyways i like to use this body lotion i feel like i need a good good moisture good moisture when my hair is oily i don't want to wash it I use a stretch shampoo i think a lot everybody uses that toothpaste Charcoal toothpaste, charcoal mouthwash, and then this whitening pen. Yay! Alright, so I'm gonna go do my skincare routine and then I'll meet back up with you guys. Okay, so hello! Um, so I'm gonna show you a couple more things that I do traditionally before I go to bed and then we can check out some. So I have these pillow sprays that I really love that I normally just like spray everywhere. I don't know if they actually work, but if they do work, that'd be great. And they smell really good, so. 
I also use this room spray, spray it everywhere. And it smells like vanilla. And I love it. So, it's like a dollar at Walmart. Totally worth it. Astro, say hey to the vlog. He says hey. Okay, so it's like nine o'clock. If you know me, this is pretty, pretty regular time for me to get into bed. But I do um, like to do something before I go to bed. I try to do it. At least it gets really hard, especially when you like know you have to wake up early to like dedicate time to this. But I try really hard and I try to like read something, even if that's like not on my phone. But, like, even if it's just like looking up an article on my computer, I try to read something. So, I bought Ruppy Kerr's new book, Homebody, and I've been going through and reading the different poems in that recently, and they're just so good. So, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do for a little bit, and then. I'll catch up with you guys in a sec. So I'm ready for coffee with Kels. So I can start a little discussion on how to know if somebody's not the one for you. So, yeah. Speaking from personal experience, of course. So I just finished writing that and I posted it on Coffee with Kels. Um, I think it's super important. It's kind of about like how not to settle for people who don't reach your moral standards and also just like I don't know somebody's not the one for you um so yeah that was what I did it's kind of emotional um I just shared some personal experience in there and yeah so I don't know what I'm gonna do now I watched some you again I don't have much of it that room is clean it's like almost 10 though so I may watch something and go to bed Maybe. Good morning vlog. Do you know what's happening? Coffee time. If you come Hey guys, if you hear a screaming dog in the background, that's just Ella. She's a baby when my mom leaves. But I'm about to put my contacts in, do my makeup, do my hair, wash my face, all that fun stuff, and get ready. And then we're going out. Hey loves. So I didn't do my makeup yet. I'm about to go get a spray tan. I got my nails done. I'm eating a chicken bacon ranch flatbread. And I got coffee. This is so hard to eat because when things are like too hot or too cold, my like Fake tooth is really, really sensitive. So, like, it hurts. And I'm struggling eating this right now, but it's so good. Like, I don't want to stop. Like, I should wait for it to cool down a little bit. But I'm hungry. So, yeah. I'll see y'all when I start getting ready. Hey, guys. So, my phone almost died, so I just stopped filming. But I'm home now, as you can tell. And um, I got my spray tan. I already told you guys I got my nails done. But um, that was all I did. Now I'm coming home. I'm gonna chill for like 45 minutes, probably watch an episode of you. Just relax. And then I'm gonna do my makeup. I might change outfits. Then I'm gonna go take pictures. So, yeah, that's it. Hey babes, so recap. I went and ate with my friend Maddie and I got around all that fun stuff. I didn't vlog with her because we talked a lot about boys, all that fun stuff. So we just didn't really have time to vlog. Yeah. That's kind of it. Um, and I'm gonna restart. I'm gonna start getting ready for bed. It's 10 p.m. and now you have spent a whole 24 hours with me. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys like and subscribe. And I really want to keep making videos because it's super fun for me. So, yeah. Have a good night.